Well, the sucky part about it is, I don't know that's there until you grab it. Yeah, you can't really feel that's it. That's the idea. I'm not supposed to produce it and be like, how do you pick the best self-defense knife for everyday carry? You go to a flea market, pick out the biggest, most badass weapon you can find, or do you go super concealable and inobtrusive? What makes a good everyday carry self-defense focused knife? Uh, the truth is, it actually has nothing to do with the blade. Is it a drop point? Is it serrated? Is it a tanto? Or whatever else that you might think needs to be on your knife. Just, ooh. Ooh. Haha. <laughs> We're gonna be talking about what goes into a self-defense knife and like what features it needs, what's more important than the blade, which is almost everything else about it, and reviewing the MDV Plus One from Scallywag Tactical. This video is sponsored by Scallywag Tactical, but like many of our sponsored videos that came to be because I I wanted their stuff. I recently got to handle a lot of their knives at a trip that we took to Michigan. They had a bunch of their stuff out at the campground, so I told them, I said, I want to do a video on this knife. Now, they have a bunch of other crazy stuff that's just cool as well, but I think this checks a lot of my boxes for the perfect everyday carry defensive knife. And I know you're thinking, Mike, you're not a real knife guy. Don't you shit on knives as a primary form of self-defense all the time? Yes, I do shit on knives as a primary form of self-defense. I consider knives a secondary form of self-defense. I probably should have done a lot of other things before I'm finding myself using a knife for self-defense. And if you do find yourself using a knife for actual self-defense and not murder, there's a lot of features you're going to need out of it, and none of them are up here. I mean, this one is cool. It's got a stabby portion and it's got a cutty portion and it's got a, uh, you know, triangular blade shape, which uh, if you don't know what that's for, I'll explain that in a little bit. But no, I don't, I don't care much about this. If you stick just about anything in anyone, it's gonna suck. I care much more about the sheath. This one comes with two sheaths. That's the most important part because if you don't have a good sheath, you won't carry it. And if you can't deploy it very well, it's going to fail. But these guys don't even give you the option of buying it without a trainer. But check this out. Check this out. Here's how I knew I wanted to work with this company because they put training very high on their list of priorities. And I actually got a second set sent to me personally from the designer of this knife hooked up with some grip tape the way he likes it because you have to make this stuff your own so that you'll actually carry it. He sent me a trainer and a live blade with his preferred method of taping his handle. And there's a bunch of different ways to do this and this is new to me. So I'm gonna try that out, but it gives me nice little nubules because one hiccup you might have about this guy is that there's not much to the handle. And you want a big fat grip. Well, guess what? A big fat grip is hard to conceal. This kind of gives me a couple more purchase points to let me use that thing without adding a bunch of unnecessary bulk. We're gonna do some training with this. I'm gonna take the trainers up to the studio and we're gonna do some rounds and some drills and stuff with them. But the other cool part about this grip, whoop, glad that was a trainer. It's meant to be minimalist, so you can use this in conjunction with your firearm. Because that's, I think, what this is. It's a secondary weapon. Your de-escalation skills have failed. Your empty-handed skills have failed. You couldn't get to your pistol or didn't have time to get to your pistol or weren't able to carry your pistol. And you're left with the second or third or maybe fourth best choice for defending yourself. This sheath is your pretty standard affair pocket clip with a little extra little guy in there to help grab something. And I'm gonna show like deploying all this here in a second. But this sheath, this thing is interesting. I've not seen one like this personally. Just this little rubber band and this hook, no other attachments, which it has, it has little grommets and things. You could attach other things, attach it other ways and make it your own. But this sheath is the main reason that I fell in love with this knife. I don't have to integrate this with my belt any kind of way. It's just there, this little hook this little small little detail here. The way this works is all I'm doing is just putting this behind my belt and hooking it into a belt loop. And that's the way I carried it around pretty much all weekend. And if this is your only, and if you want to go deeper concealment, you could tuck that behind there and then it lays flat. And this is a size small t-shirt because of course it is. This method of carry didn't bother me at all. I didn't have to really set it up 
I slipped it on there, I left it, and then I could forget about it. And it comes right out. But even if you didn't do that, even if you were just in a jam and you just tucked it in here a little deep, and I'm not recommending that you carry it that way, but I'm saying you could carry it that way. And all you have to get to draw is just a little bit of your pinky in there. It makes the draw uh, easier and more sure. Ideally, you get a full fighting grip and then draw and it's sure and it's positive and you know you're, you're doing the right thing. But ideally, we wouldn't be using a knife to keep someone from killing us. Deploying this thing has proven pretty easy even with a minimal amount of practice. I have trained with a couple guys who are moving to this method of carry. And again, that's pretty simple. You hook it on the top of the belt loop and then it hangs out here. Now, I, that, for concealability, like your clothing and stuff would have to change for that. That's not my style. But this is an easy draw underneath there. I could go a full half hour on all the ways that you could use this little sheath for quick on, quick off. If you're changing your clothes a lot, if you're wearing kind of regular clothes and you don't want to or can't go through the process of attaching something like more permanent, which would be best. But again, we're not talking about what's best. We're talking about what we can do. But you don't even have to try to figure it out because they send you a sheath that your, your dad would probably be comfortable with. You know, the old school way of doing things. And they also send you one of these. So the guesswork is taken out of it. You get to get it and then play with it and figure out the way to make it work for you. But in order for me to take this seriously, I have to actually train with it and train hard with it. So we're going to be running through some some drills and some techniques and stuff with the MDD Plus One up at the studio. Now, as for some other features on this guy, and I will touch on the blade. I won't, I won't touch on the blade. I already touched on another blade. That wasn't from this knife. I know you're seeing the Band-Aid and be like, what's up with the Band-Aid, dude? I'll, I'll put it on Instagram. But it's got these ridges back here or jimping. And because I don't have a lot to grip, though the designer did put these on here for me, I, it helps add some control over this blade if you have this back here and if you were going to use it for cutting like vegetables i guess after you've you know murked a dude you could cut carrots but the blade is flat on this side it's not symmetrical like it's when viewed from this angle it's a triangle not a diamond and the reason that is is because if you stick a diamond shaped knife in something and then pull it out Apparently that, that hole can close more easily than if one side is flat. If you stick this and then it comes out, I guess the hole stays open, which is better. Not better for the thing that you're sticking the knife in, but better for your purposes. Adding this tape to it does a lot. Kind of sexier. Just gives them some little binky, 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 some little guys to grab onto. You can use whatever kind of tape that you want, hockey tape or whatever kind of grip tape, or you can tape up the whole handle, you know, really make it your own. But this was Michael Don Vito, the guy who designed this. This is his preference. So he hooked this thing up for me and I kind of like it. If you do have a home grip, you got thumb reinforcement here. Like it just seems like he thought of a lot of things when he made this thing. I just have it tucked into the drawstring, but I have to put that little hook on there. I can walk in the mailbox like this. Yeah. I walk in the mailbox at night like this, no problem. I'm not worried about this little, because what does that even look like? It doesn't even look like anything. Nothing. You really. know what I mean?
Now, I've been carrying and training with the MDV Plus One for a couple of weeks now. Larges, extra larges. What is this? It's Scallywag swag. It's Scally swag. So this MDV Plus One is designed as like an everyday carry, concealed carry type knife, but they also make stuff that's purpose built to be a backup weapon to your primary weapon. These are aluminum daggers, so they're super light and they're just meant to pierce. Like they have a an edge, it's not really like a cutting edge, it's just meant to support the thrusting of this thing. And these are set up ideally as backup weapons like on a plate carrier or something like that. Uh, let me know down below if you want to see like, you know, more reviews of stuff like that. This one's for Kristen, that's her favorite color. And I'm gonna give that to her. And she'll be excited about that. She, I don't, she won't carry it or do anything with it, but she'll be excited about it. Oh, this one's not aluminum. This is that heavy boy. That's a heavy, that's a heavy dagger and it's got the big ring on it so you can pull it out even if you got big shooting gloves on and you can definitely like find it in a struggle and jam that where you need to jam it. There's another dagger. I train a couple cops and special ops guys and I'm gonna probably let them have those. But this one, this guy here is like a, an all purpose blade. It's got this big thick swell on the handle and it fills up the hand really good so you could fight with it. But you could also use this one for more like utilitarian purposes like you're not going to really be able to cut a lot of firewood with that guy here as cool as he is but they make functional stuff that you could work with and do your job with but what made me the most excited was this here they call this the bounty it's a hand and a half machete it's a bastard machete Comes with a big old scabbard, but this guy here, <laughs> this is a real weapon. The fact that you can put two hands on this thing, so if you know, it's a more stubborn zombie. <laughs> I love this thing, but I will put a link down in the description below to Scallywag. I absolutely love their products. They're really well built. But let's get back to the review of this MDV Plus One. So the MDV Plus One gets an A from me. It, it solved every problem I had just brilliantly. I can tell this was designed by a martial artist who was designing it for its purpose. You get the knife, two sheaths, and a trainer. And the sheath and the trainer to me are way more important than what style of point and what style of blade you have. Because these guys that make this stuff understand that training is important which is too often overlooked in this industry. But hey, I like just getting stuff too, but training is important. If you want to get stuff, I'll put a link to Scallywag down below. They have cool stuff. This thing, this was worth it. Just to tell them that I needed one of these to do this video. <laughs> I didn't need this to do the video. <laughs> I really didn't, but I told them I did. Uh, oh, um, another thing. If you remember when I did the video, when I did the video on the armor, the issue that I had was, I didn't really have an answer in the retention battle when I was overpowered and none of my techniques were working and I knew I needed a knife. Now the MDV plus one wouldn't really be suitable for this kind of task, but they also have a, a big line of daggers and that's kind of like what this is purpose built for. So I'll probably end up doing a video on this, but if you go to Scallywag, they have all that stuff down below. I'm pretty happy. I need to put, I need to put, can I put this thing on here? Would that be? Cool, I got, I mean, it's got the thing. 